All right, we're in the middle of a pandemic, uh, the coronavirus pandemic, and we are going to make uh, some masks today because um, we're running out. Um, you're going to need, um, these are paint um, strainers. These are 60, 70 called mesh paint strainers, okay? Um, and you're going to need some three-quarter inch round stickers. You're going to place one sticker over each hole at each corner of the um, of the paint strainer, okay? And you're going to make a bunch of those. I do about 10 at a time, all right? So I've got my stack of 10 here. Then I'm going to grab another set of 10 st strainers, okay? And this is going to be the second layer of the mask. We're going to, we're going to um, put a filter in and we're going to smash them together. We're going to, we're going to glue them together um, and make sure that they're, um, you know, sealed. Um, and then you're going to insert a, this right here, this is a uh, uh, three-hole punch um, um, connector. Um, and what you do is you're gonna put it inside through uh, three quarter inch from the top edge of the mask on the spline, okay, where where it's connected, where where they uh, folded this, the the two sheets over um, on the filter, and then uh, you're gonna spread them out on the back. You can put one staple right here, so you're gonna need a stapler, obviously. Okay, and then um, you're gonna grab those three quarter inch stickers. You're gonna put one on each side of the outside of the mask. The other one's it's on the inside of the mask, okay? And then once you get that, you're gonna grab scrunchies, and then you're gonna put the scrunchie, line the scrunchie up with the others in the inside where the hole is, and you're gonna put two staples there, okay? I've already done it on all these. I have my set of 10 right here. So then when that's done, you're gonna grab one with the, with the three quarter inch on the inside, that's the inside of the mask, okay? And what we're trying to do, we're trying to set up the inside of the mask, there's no staples, nothing to rub against any skin, um, no adhesive or anything like that. You know, the adhesive is that we're using today is non-toxic, but still, you want the inside of the mask to be, you know, nothing in there. Um, so this is the clear Elmer's non-toxic glue. All right, so you're gonna grab the glue and you're gonna put this, I've made a little staging area here. You can use one of the filters, but I used a little piece of cardboard, so it's a little bit, can be used a lot. I'm making hundreds of masks here. So then you wanna go, you wanna make sure you get a nice good seal here, okay? And you're gonna go around the mesh first, okay? That's all you gotta do. Then you're gonna grab a um, piece of cloth. This is, uh, high, uh, it's like pillow paste cloth, high thread count. And you're gonna start on the back side here, okay? And then you're gonna fold it around to the spline, okay? Make sure it's all glued together. Have a little towel here to wipe your hands. Then on the inside of the mask, this is very important. These all have to connect, okay? I'm doing them fast because I've already made a couple hundred of them and I'm running out of glue here. Okay, I don't know if you've ever put tile up, but you put circles on the back of the tile with the adhesive and it creates a suction, all right? So that's my inside one. And then you're going to do one, okay, and then two outside rings. So you're going to have three rings total, okay? And they all have, it has to connect all together. I can't stress that anymore. You don't want any air going through the inside of the mask. It has to be pressed together, okay? And then you're going to line up the uh, spline to the spline. And this is why I have this thing. You put it in, okay, and then you're going to line up each side. Make sure each side lines up perfectly. Pull, do a, do a little tug on here. Just line up. Little tug on here. Line up, okay. And then I wipe any excess glue from the sides. And that's pretty much it. And then you sit and you let it dry. And then there's one more process after that. Um, when you, when they're done, they kind of look like they got a little point at the, at the top. We're not going to use that point. That one's not dry. You fold over the top and you put a little piece of tape, okay, right down here. And then this is the top of the mask where you create this, the, the part with your uh, uh, suction over your nose. You got a little, you get that metal um, folder um, pin in there, and that's going to provide uh, pressure. These go around your ears, obviously, and then you're rocking and rolling. There is your mask. Make a whole bunch, make them quick.